Hello everyone and welcome to another video with me on Berets and today, okay, alright, let's get into this. No real point in beating around the bush, Gummy's response to the nerfs. Uh, why do I think this is important to talk about? Obviously this is something that I have talked about beforehand uh, already, I've talked about the reaction to it, I've talked about it on my live stream. But seeing Gummy's response, I am unsurprised and really thinking that it is basically the best they can do. And before I get into this, I'm not putting blame on most of the developers. They probably don't have any control in this. And I'm not putting any of the blame on the messengers. It is popular to shoot the messenger, but not with me. So I'm just, you know, not going to. But um, really, I want to talk about the response that... Uh, alum, or sorry, which side of my plane? Uh, the gummy is given uh, with the regards to Brave Exvius, and I think this is important uh, because it, it goes into a little bit of something that I want to talk about today data miners. Data miners, which, if you do, I will fully say that yes, in the terms of service, you know, data mining is not allowed, it should not happen. But data mining, in my opinion, is something that needs to happen. So with that being said, I don't want to do too much of a, a like a just a video saying what I think of my opinion, because I will make it very clear and I will make it very clear with this music before I talk about data mining, which is really what this video is about. So let's be honest. Brave XVS gotcha games, they are basically gambling. They are gambling around the idea that, you know, units are good or bad. And when it comes to Alum's res or Gummy's response about the idea that unofficial information before the banner goes live, they're 100% correct. The data is not officially out until the banner drops, and so they can make any changes that they want. Doing last minute changes is probably pretty shitty though, and I still maintain my, uh, stance that when it came to doing this there was either two intentions one gummy didn't really know what the hell they were doing when they made esther's and sylvie's kit and it was only the community's reaction that uh, really made them go oh shit they're right this is just way too strong or the second opportunity yeah, they just didn't really know what they were doing or, well, I guess those are two options in that sense. But another option that I really don't want to entertain is the idea that they put this out there to fuck over the data miners and the community. Basically, they put the information out that she was way too strong, built up hype, and then created a situation where they nerfed the characters last second so the data miners and the community would look bad. And that is basically what their response has been. That it's um, the data miners' fault and the community's fault for believing it. Okay. Well, I have a couple issues with that. For one thing, that's pretty shitty to do to your community. You know, the guys who pay your wages. It's not like they were you're picking a fight with someone you have no relationship to. Yeah, you're literally picking a fight with your community. The guys who basically pay you their hard-earned money. And I just really don't like that idea. I think that that would be the thing that make me quit Brave Exvius because the idea that they are going on a full all-out war against their community saying, listen, if you're not going to get in your place, we'll fuck with you. Boy, is that dangerous. Boy, is that dangerous. You know, I've talked a lot of times about monotony and, you know, well, what might kill Brave Exvius? That will kill it dead. The idea that they are literally taking their community for a ride, oh, that is just so bad. It matter so that's why I don't really want to entertain that idea, but that's kind of what the felt like the response was that the com it's the community's fault for believing unofficial data to which I would like to point out that when it comes to unofficial data and this is going right back into data mining Alum, Gummy, you're both really fucking shit at this. Like while I'm willing to entertain the theory that you know a lot of Brave Axios you know it's just like 
designing cards in Hearthstone. There doesn't have to be, like, an entire set cannot be super good. There has to be bad cards, too. Uh, those are to nerf certain aspects of the game. I understand that. As well as making card packs more valuable. Same with Brave Axios. Not all the characters have to be good. Uh, some of them can be mediocre, and that is okay from a business design standpoint, because there has to be those highs, otherwise, or those lows, otherwise the highs wouldn't feel that good. But to that extent, Alum and Gummy have been incredibly shitty about distributing information. Uh, their own live streams have been misleading. Their amount, the information that they tend to display on a lot of live streams is lacking and pathetic. Uh, they can't even give really good details. Alum on the JP side, uh, last few live streams have been really shitty about telling information about the characters, leaving a lot of players to wonder, are these characters any good? On the Gummy side, we've seen misinformation, and I'm not as familiar with it, but I do remember that there have been some times where information has not been properly doled out, and uh, a lot of the community has been left in the dark about certain things. Our story reset, uh, I guess parameter missions have been talked about, but advanced missions too. There seems to be a lot of things that we're just not being told, and that goes into the data too. Let's be really honest here. It took a long time for any kind of transparency to show up in Brave Exvius. It took a long time to have unit previews on banners. I think this is inexcusable that it took so long to have this feature to actually be able to look at a unit that you are going to pull because the information that comes in game is pretty shit. As a matter of fact, it's really shit. It doesn't really give you a adequate amount of information to know whether you are pulling something good or not. Load? You gotta find the banner one. This is just not adequate enough to know whether a unit is good or whether a unit is really worth spending your resources. I understand from the idea that, hey, I like this character, I want to pull this character, so therefore I'll spend resources on it. But if you're actually looking for a character that will also be useful, this is all really dangerous. It took a long time to get a lot of information in the actual game of Brave Axvius, such as even, you know, framing and everything like that. And even that information is still inadequate. And the example I want to give is Ellie. Ellie on the JP side. And obviously she was changed for global. Follow me for a second. When it comes to framing, frames can be misleading, especially the hit number on abilities. All of this information has been really slow to be added to the game, which Honestly, it really does paint a picture that Gummy and Alum are more con men, which is again why this music is here in the first place. I really think that a lot of the time they are trying to take us for a ride and trying to fuck us out of money. Alum's example recently has just been to screw over UOC holders and make everything so basically a summon fest banner thus far, which is okay. But not great. Really, it's kind of tiring. But yeah, to get this information in the game, if it wasn't for data miners, data miners go a long way to make this game actually tolerable. Taking, for example, the AI on some bosses, which is ridiculously overcomplicated, and we would require thousands, potentially, of stamina just to figure out what the hell you're doing in a fight. No. Listen, this is a phone game, and this is not something I want to spend my entire life doing or playing, so yeah. Uh, also, data miners can just, again, show th problems in those chain framings, where Ellie had a significant delay that broke her chaining and made her worse, and only basically chain a bowl with her and Ultima to some extent, and even then not perfect, again, trying to sell more stuff. Is it Gummy and Alum's right to change their data until the actual stuff is posted in-game and is live? Yes, they can do it. 
it is possible that they can do this kind of stuff. If they are going to make it a regular thing, I think it's very negative towards the community, it's very hostile towards the community, and it's not very good. It does paint a picture, but really, my stance on data miners is they are 100% needed. We need data miners to know exactly what is going on behind the scenes because I don't trust Alan or Gummy anymore. I don't, and neither should you. They are a business. Their main goal is to make money. That is their right. But if you are going to have a hospital and negative environment towards your consumer, I really think that this game probably deserves to die, and Alum and Gummy probably deserve to go out of business. Will that happen? Probably not. Is this the fault of specific people within the company? Yes. Who those people are? I do not know. But here is the bottom line when it comes from my aspect. I will be changing the way I do my videos. I will not be recording until one second after the banner goes live. This kind of sucks for content creators because obviously we want the information out ahead of time uh, so that the player can know and make a decision about it. So I am going to be doing that to make sure that this does not happen again because again, I want to reiterate, my trust to Alum and Gummy is now zero. I do not trust them to put anything in the game. I will trust data miners to make sure that the data is appropriate and correct after the banner has gone live and Ali, Alum and Gummy can go fuck themselves royally. Okay, now that I've made that evidently clear, I want to say just one piece of advice that I'm going to give all you global players and JP players, don't pull on a banner until at least, I don't know, six hours after. If you're really wondering about it's good or not, you got to give us content creators. Excuse me. I had a full steak tonight and it was good. You got to give us some leeway in getting these videos posted and everything. And yeah, uh, obviously content creators out there, I'm sure that every content creator will have their own opinion on this and, you know, what it kind of means for them and whatnot, but I'm going to be trying to make sure that the videos are, of course, accurate and the opinions are there and everything like that. And I don't know, bottom line. I'm going to leave you with a quote from Old Boy, who is on the Discord server and quit FFB to my knowledge. And his quote was this Final Fantasy Brave Exodus is a game created without thought or care. And I do think that this latest little bit on Global really does show that. I really think Brave Exodus is on its last legs. Anyway, that's all for now. See you next time.